One of the exciting things about working here at Children's is that we have developed collectively a whole bunch of new treatments for cerebral vascular disease that just weren't present uh, even a few years ago, let alone 10 or 15 years ago. Um, these are things that have really had a palpable difference in making uh, treatment of these diseases safer and more effective, and this is something that's ongoing through both our clinical efforts and our research efforts here at the hospital. Uh, some examples of this include the real uh, explosion in the development of endovascular treatments where now uh, collaborating with our colleagues in uh, interventional radiology, uh, we can uh, be able to uh, treat cerebral vascular disease before they go to surgery, in some places uh, 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 obliterating the need for surgery altogether, where a previously big craniotomy can be replaced by a relatively tiny and elegant uh, endovascular procedure. Uh, other tools that we have include more focal or targeted radiation therapies that just weren't present 5, 10, 15 years ago uh, that may also uh, ob obliterate the need for more invasive procedures. And most importantly, the idea of being able to work uh, in collaboration. We can diagnose lesions uh, earlier uh, and more safely with radiology uh, uh, studies uh, and then in the operating room treat them more effectively uh, with neuronavigation to get where we need to get to with smaller and tinier operations uh, during the surgery, having different tools such as intraoperative angiography, uh, fluorescent angiography on the microscope to help us uh, see uh, that the lesion has been safely obliterated and that the good blood vessels are still working uh, during the surgery itself instead of having to wait hours or days later. Uh, and so we really have a lot of new tools operatively, perioperatively, and with other disciplines that make the treatment of cerebrovascular disease so much more effective than they were in the past. Uh, most exciting is the ongoing research we have in our laboratories, which are really pushing the envelope in terms of what we're going to be able to deliver, not just now, but in the near future.